matrix A and I wanted to find its inverse. Okay, that's the symbol for that. So the first thing we do is to find the determinant of A. So we know that the determinant of a matrix is equal to the difference between the cross products. So we get first the cross product for the down element, so that's negative 4 times 3, minus the product of the up elements, that's 6 times negative 4. And so it will give us negative 12 plus 24, and so our determinant is 12. The next one is to, su to find a new matrix out of a certain rule from A. So the first thing we do is to uh, switch the position of R11 and R22. So 3 becomes R11 and negative 4 becomes R22. And then after that, we will change the signs of R21 and R12. So 6 becomes negative and negative 4 becomes positive. Okay. The next step is to multiply this by the reciprocal of our determinant. So this is now our scalar quantity. And uh, if, you, if you remember, the scalar quantity is to be multiplied to each element of the new matrix. So that's 1 over 12 times 3. That's 3 over 12. Uh, 4 times 1 over 12 is 4 over 12. And negative 6 times 1 over 12 is negative 6 over 12. And negative 4 times 1 over 12 is negative 4 over 12. So this is now our inverse matrix. And to simplify the matrix, we will now have a 1 fourth and 1 1 third, negative 1 half, and negative 1 third. So this is now the inverse of the given matrix A. Now we will verify our answer by means of our matrix calculator. Okay. So input first our element. So we have a 2 by 2 matrix. So our, our elements will be R, negative 4. And then you have negative 4. And then positive 3. And then positive 6. Enter that and it will be in the memory of the calculator. After that, since this is the symbol for inverse, we need to put first A and then press A raised to negative 1. And as you can see, the value of the elements of the inverse matrix are 0.25, which is equal to 1 fourth, 0.333, which is equal to 1 third, negative 0.5, which is equal to negative 1 half, and negative 0.3 repeating decimal is negative one third. Also, there is a property that says that the product of the matrix and its inverse should be equivalent to its identity matrix. Let's see if that happens. So we will multiply A times its inverse. And as you can see, the product is an identity matrix of the given matrix.